Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be talking about nerve damages and the characteristic signs for the different nerve damages of the body. So we're going to focus mainly on the upper and the lower limb nerve damages. So the first one we're going to start with is the winged scapula. So what is a winged scapula? So a winged scapula is like a skeletal muscle condition in which the shoulder blade or the shoulder bone protrudes from the person's back so it's an abnormal position and you can get a wing scapula if you have the nerve long thoracic nerve of bell damaged so what is the long thoracic nerve of bell you can check out the brachial plexus video right here i'll put it up running across the screen to see what the long thoracic nerve of bell is and that nerve supplies the serratus anterior muscle so that's the first one that's wing scapula so the second one or the second condition i'm going to talk about is a wrist drop so what is a wrist drop so a wrist wrist drop is a medical condition in which your wrist cannot extend at the metacarpophalangeal joints right so your hand is like just falling and this is basically because there's a partial flexed um shit okay okay so this is caused from the um the partially flexed opposing action of the flexor muscle of the forearm so as a result of this the extensor muscles in the posterior compartment are basically paralyzed so you, your hand just drop and you just can't extend it anymore so what causes the wrist drop so if you have a damage to the radial nerve you get a wrist drop so this is the characteristic sign of a damaged radial nerve is a wrist drop so we did wing scapula and wrist drop so far so the next one we're going to do is the claw hand so when you think of claw hand they got the name from um a hand resemble resembling a bear's claw so it looks like this in this photo right here and it's basically a condition where there is a curve or bend of the fingers mostly the pinky finger and the ring finger because those are on the ulna side or the medial side and a claw hand is characteristic of an ulna nerve damage so you get those fingers being clawed so the next one is the benediction sign so what is the benediction sign so this is a sign that results from peripheral neuropathy and it can result from other damages like a median nerve damage so how or what is the characteristics of this sign it's basically when the patient cannot flex their index finger or their middle finger so you ask the patient to make a fist and they can flex the pinky finger and the ring finger to make the fist but the middle finger and the index finger remains up because they cannot be flexed at the metacarpal phalangeal joints or basically the interphalangeal joints they can't flex there so they remain up and that is the benedict sign and that is caused it's on the medial side so it's basically a median nerve damage so the next one is the anterior interosseous syndrome so what's characteristic of this syndrome is basically you can see it if you ask the patient to make a, an okay sign so you ask them to make the okay sign that's basically a circle with the thumb and the index finger and they're unable to do this so the thumb and the index fingers are unable to flex at the interphalangeal joint and the distal interphalangeal joints respectively and so they cannot make this okay sign and it's maybe difficult to recognize the cause of it but it's basically caused from the anti anterior interosseous nerve right so the last sign i'll talk about is i'm jumping to the lower limb so this sign is a foot drop like in the hand or the upper limb we have a wrist drop in the lower limb we can have a foot drop so this is basically an abnormality in when there's dropping of the forefoot 
due to weakness, irritation, or damage of a nerve. And this nerve is basically the sciatic nerve. So if there's any trauma or anything to damage this nerve, you get basically a foot drop. And this can also be caused by paralysis of the muscles surrounding the nerve. And you get a foot drop. So just let's review everything we did today. We did a wing scapula, which is a long thoracic nerve of bell, wrist drop, radial nerve, claw hand, ulnar nerve, the Benedict sign, the median nerve, as well as the anterior interosseous syndrome, which is the anterior interosseous nerve. They cannot make the OK sign. And the foot drop, which is a sciatic nerve. And that's it for today's video. If you have any more questions, drop them in the comment sections below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as follow us on Instagram at our Instagram page right here. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.